All right, so a couple people have been asking, how do you assign a MIDI controller to the new loop rolling function in 1.9? Uh, well, there's two different ways you can do this. Uh, one way is to individually map each of the auto loop lengths down here to a button, key, or pad on your MIDI controller. Uh, if you're going to do this method and you want to assign all the auto loop lengths, you're going to need, uh, let's see here, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11. Okay, so you're going to need 11 keys, pads, or buttons on your MIDI controller if you want to assign uh, each of the auto loop lengths to loop rolling. And then if you want to do the second deck, uh, you're going to multiply that by 2, so you're going to need 22 keys, pads, or buttons or MIDI on your MIDI controller. As you can see, that's a lot of buttons and keys and pads you're going to have to use. So, uh, the other way is to assign this new um, uh, knob down here, and that is to scroll through all the auto loop lengths. So, um, if you only need to use this one knob and one button to control all the auto loop links. So if we assign that knob to a rotary knob on my MIDI controller, uh, it's now going to scroll through all the auto loop links. Let me get that out of the way. Uh, like this. So you can scroll through all the auto loop links, and then you only have to assign this loop roll button down here uh, to just one button on your MIDI controller, which I'm going to do like that. Okay, so now, uh, let me click out of the MIDI first. So now we can scroll through all the auto loop lengths and trigger all the loop rolls with just this one knob and one button. And you can even go through and uh, collapse and expand the loop while you're in it, uh, while you're holding the button down. Uh, but that's if you want to use the knob method. Uh, if you do want to just sign individual auto loop lengths to uh, buttons on your MIDI controller, what you have to do is uh, obviously click on MIDI. Uh, and then before you click on one of the buttons to assign them, you have to hold the control and alt key down on your keyboard and then click on the auto loop length that you want to sign and you'll see the gray box pop up and then click your mouse and you will see it says control plus alt plus click uh, unassigned to MIDI input uh, that means these are the control plus alt modifiers and then just press whatever button you want to assign alright so now it's going to be assigned and then you just repeat the process now for the other auto loop links but see if you don't hold control or alt down and you just click on it you'll see it doesn't say the control plus alt message and if you hold control down you'll see control click or if you um, hold alt you'll see alt click and if you hold control and alt at the same time and then click the button you'll see control plus alt click and that's the keyboard shortcut for loop rolling so you must hold control plus alt down before you press the button to assign it and then press the button on your MIDI controller and that will assign loop rolling to that one button and so let's just map out the rest of them. Or not all of them. I'm just going to demonstrate these four. Okay, so as you can see, if it doesn't say Control plus Alt click, then you didn't do it right. You have to make sure it says that. And then so let's just uh, play a track and just play around with it for just a little bit. Bring the screen over. just a bit. So that was just mapping the individual buttons to loop links. As I mentioned, you can also scroll with the knob like this and you can uh, trigger looping and loop rolls from right there. That is how you assign the loop rolling uh, to MIDI controllers uh, in Scratch Lab 1.9.